It's been almost a decade since we first met Genesis. No, I'm not talking about the bad 80s prog rock band, I'm talking about Hyundai's first real luxury car that launched in 2008. But what started as Hyundai Genesis is now just Genesis. It's its own luxury brand, and it'll have six cars on the road by the year 2021. The first is this G90, it's the flagship. It builds on lessons learned from that original Genesis sedan, plus the Hyundai Equus that came before it, which wasn't so good. So, does this car have what it takes to not only serve as a flagship for this brand, but to also stand out as a great luxury car? Or is it just another Hyundai in a tux? How does it look? My favorite view of this car is the profile, where you can really see the long hood and short rear deck. Classic rear wheel drive proportions. The 19 inch wheels are elegant and the taillights flow over the back of the car with a very premium design. And while the front end does look nice, a lot of the elements, specifically the shape of the headlamps and the long strips of LED running lights, they just look a little too generic Korean luxury sedan for me. How's the storage? There's 15.7 cubic feet of storage inside the trunk. That's enough for a nice set of luggage or the all important set of golf clubs. Of course, that's just about the same size as a Volkswagen Passat's trunk. An ample center console and deep door pockets will hold most of your stuff, though I'd like an extra cubby or two up front besides the one next to the shifter that also features wireless cell phone charging. Rear seat passengers have plenty of space for their things, including map pockets, door cubbies, and a little space in the center armrest. Is it roomy? The G90 is a big sedan and there's more than enough room for passengers. Things are fine and dandy up front, but the rear seat is where you'll really feel special. With the center armrest folded down, it's like there are two captain's chairs back there. And there are even controls to recline and move the front passenger seat out of the way, as long as no one's sitting there, of course. The best seat in the house might be in the rear, but no matter where you are, head and leg room is great, and the whole cabin is very, very comfortable. How does the interior feel? No, oh, thank you seat. Anyway, this interior is a Genesis. It's not a Hyundai. So the company wanted to make sure that every little detail was as nice as it could be. These metals, really good. Leather, really good. And I even like there's texture on the plastics around the infotainment screen. It's better than just leaving it plain. Is it well equipped? The car you see here is a G90 3.3T premium, and it only comes one way. That means everything you see here is standard, including the infotainment screen, heated and cooled Napa leather seats, rear seat controls, sunroof, Xenon headlights, a head-up display, 22-way driver's seat, soft closed doors, adaptive cruise control, and so much more. Seriously, the list of standard equipment is so long, I don't even want to read it off on video. How's the infotainment system? The 12.3-inch high-definition infotainment screen is colorful and bright, with some of the clearest, prettiest map displays I've seen outside of Google Earth. There's nothing really revolutionary about the way it's all controlled, though. The large center dial works just like it does in pretty much every other new car these days, with logical movements to different screens and menus. That said, the Genesis setup feels more natural and easier to use than that weird mouse thing inside the Lexus LS, and I even prefer it to the often laggy, hard-to-use Cadillac Q. Is it a good daily driver? The nice thing about the G90 is that it's not huge and lumbery like a lot of other big luxury sedans. It's certainly big, but it doesn't really feel its size. Everything about driving it is just super easy. The steering is really nice. Throttle and brake inputs are really easy. The suspension just kind of floats along. It's a very pleasant car to drive around every day. In fact, 
I think it's actually really great for long freeway commutes or road trips. This thing will just eat up miles over and over and over again. You won't even really notice. Is it fun to drive? Uh, fun isn't exactly the word. This car isn't supposed to be fun. Yes, it's good to drive. The twin turbo V6 that I have here is 365 horsepower and that's plenty to move this car around. You don't really need the V8. Plus, there are a couple different driving modes. There's Smart, Eco, Sport, and then Individual, where you can tune separate things to your liking. I actually just find it best to leave it in Smart mode. That means the car is always adaptive, always kind of working with you with what you're doing. So, it's not really fun, it's not engaging, it's not exciting, but it's a very nice, pleasant, easy, smooth car to drive. How's the fuel economy? With the twin turbo V6, the G90 is rated at 19 miles per gallon city and 24 mpg highway. Those numbers are totally achievable too. In my testing, I saw an average of about 21 mpg in mixed driving. How much is it? The G90 starts at $68,100 before destination. That's for the bi-turbo V6 model with rear wheel drive. If you want a V8, expect to pay $69,700. And if you want all-wheel drive, which is available with either engine, that's an extra $2,500. What are the negatives? Don't get me wrong, this is the nicest luxury sedan I've ever seen come out of Korea, but it still feels like there's a little too much Hyundai in this Genesis. Things like the fonts, the colors, some of the materials inside, they're just not quite there. You certainly won't mistake this for a Mercedes S-Class or a BMW 7 Series, though it definitely gives a Lexus a run for its money. Who should buy it? The Genesis G90 isn't quite the crazy bargain that the old Equus was, but that's a good thing. This car feels way more premium and it's super nice inside. That said, if you want an S-Class, it's probably not the car for you. But if you want a Cadillac CT6 or a Lexus LS460, I think the Genesis is actually better, and it's definitely worth your consideration. Hey, if you like this Why Buy, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also read us at MotorOne.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.